Hey guys, Eric Sargent, General Manager at Ed Martin Toyota in Noblesville, Indiana. And today we're going to show you one of the very last 2021 200 Series Land Cruiser builds that we're doing here at Ed Martin Toyota. And before I forget, I want you to read the comments in the description below because there's so much stuff on this, I'm going to forget all about it. Start with the front. We have um, the it's a Heritage Edition grill, so we've replaced the front grill um, with the Heritage Edition grill. We did that mainly for the reason that we want to have a rigid 30-inch adapt light bar cut in. So again, that, the, the, the Heritage Grill is gonna get you an extra couple inches of space here, so we replaced it. The, also the side, wing, side wings, as well as the lower fog surrounds, um, and then the grill itself. Um, again, 30 inch rigid adapted light bar, um, controlled with its own, uh, proprietary mechanism from the front. We'll go to the inside of the car in a minute. We have a Warren Xeon 12S uh, Platinum winch uh, integrated to the OEM bumper. We're using the Trail Tailor um, hidden winch mount for that. And we finished it off with a Factor 55 fair lead and ultra hook. Um, also in the front, while we're talking about it, the entire car, not just the front end, but every square inch of this vehicle has uh, Expel Ultimate Plus paint protection film already on it. Um, well, let's go ahead and kind of walk this way. Um, ARV Safari Snorkel. Um, we have, uh, the, normally the Safari Snorkel comes uh, kind of like an orange peel type material on it. The customer wanted this color matched. Um, and so what we did is we went ahead and just basically primed it with a thick primer and then sanded it down, primed it, sanded it down, primed it, sanded it down many times. And ultimately we've got it to a nice paintable surface. So you are looking at probably one of the only color match Safari snorkels that I know of and definitely the only one that we did. Um, on, the so on the suspension here, again, it's an Icon Stage 6. Um, it has all the billet aluminum uh, pieces that are accessories. So uh, we have the upper control arms. Obviously, you can see the remote reservoirs there on, on the left. The shock cylinders are all uh, billet aluminum, as well as the dual rate, as well as the uh, lower uh, trailing arm kit, which I'll show you that here in a moment as we walk towards the back of the vehicle. So again, expel ceramic paint protection film on the entire vehicle. Also expel ceramic window tint um, on the front. 20% in, in the front two windows to match to the rear. 85% to match uh, to have the ceramic coating uh, characteristics ar ar um, around the entire vehicle. We're, we are using the stock running boards. The uh, rear trailing arms that I mentioned, uh, the aluminum part of the uh, Icon Stage 6 suspension uh, right here. Um, as you can see while we're down here too, um, we have a full uh, set of bud built um, aluminum uh, armor underneath of the vehicle. Um, it's kinda, we, as far as tires, um, we are using um, the OEM uh, stock uh, wheel and lug nuts. Um, it's a BFG uh, KM3 mud terrain tire. Um, it's essentially a 33 inch um, and about 12 and a half inches in total width. Um, and I, when we're not using wheel spacers on this and there's no rub. Swing on back here. We have, um, we've uh, deleted the, re the reflector with a, um, with a, a rigid um, midnight edition diffused uh, light. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on for you in just a quick second. Um, basically what we did is we took the actual uh, reflector kit, we dremeled out um, the right shape to have the reflector or to have the, t the reverse light in. This is controlled with um, a reverse light trigger. So uh, as you put your foot on the brake or and you put the car in the reverse, excuse me, uh, the car, this is, th these lights will engage automatically, but if you wanted them on just to have them on, that's no problem. There is an override button, which I'll show you on the inside. Um, and actually, let me turn those on real quick so you can get a, clip, a quick glimpse and then we'll come back and we'll talk about more on the inside. Uh, all right. And then coming back to the rear, a um, couple things going on here. First of all, we have some additional lights. We have our hatch lights. So we have a uh, white uh, middle position is off. And then we have an amber, which is great for at night. It's easier on your eyes. It doesn't attract bugs as much. Um, and that's controlled with a little triple toggle right here. On the inside, we have a set of ARV drawers. Um, the right side has a roller top. The left side is fixed. Um, there's additional storage on each of the side pockets. so. On the left side, we just have, there's nothing inside there. It's a great place just to store stuff that you want to keep in your car, like a recovery kit. And then on the inside, on the right side, excuse me, um, you can see that we do have a couple of electronics added to it. We have um, an, a 1000 watt power inverter. I'll actually let you take a look on the inside here. So it's a Sandlax 1000 watt. Uh, you'll notice that there is a GFI plug that's uh, built into the inverter itself. We have made a one foot extension cord so that um, we are using um, a little bit quicker access to it right here in the front. 
And I like this because it just fits really nicely to this box. But also you have a couple extra um, 2.4 uh, amp USB uh, ports. Um, also, we have uh, two additional accessories. Uh, we have a, a sol an Anderson connector for a solar blanket or a solar uh, briefcase or any kind of solar solar blanket. And then we also have um, a large uh, Anderson uh, 200 for like a, a hitch or like a like a, a trailer winch or any other thing that's large. So those are already pre-wired uh, on this vehicle. One thing that I also need to point out here is too is we have the K-On uh, rack um, so that you can use this for just additional storage of any kind. And then last but not least in the back, we have a trail tailor um, a tailgate uh, lockable lid. Um, this is uh, uh, installed by us and what we do is we have a couple different uh, trim finishes that um, that I think are unique to the, to the way that we install these. You'll notice that there is uh, additional ABS plastic that we cut inside here so that no particular items can kind of roll around while they're in there and get trapped underneath in this area. So there's a small amount of wasted space, but it keeps it cleaner looking. We install two layers of Dynamat underneath of the carpet um, just to have additional sound deadening material for the inside of the vehicle, as well as uh, heat and, um, and cold insulation. And then we, uh, of course, glue the automotive grade carpet to it. This particular one has um, additional layer of automotive grade carpet that's attached to um, that's attached to the uh, that's actually glued to the uh, to the metal and then piped with um, uh, just as a trim finishing piece. Um, and then also we have a Blackview uh, front and rear camera, so we have uh, 4K HD cameras on the front and on the rear. I'll show you the front one in a minute, but um, both of them are hardwired in. Come on inside the vehicle with me. We got a couple things that I want to highlight. Um, first and foremost, we have the Navi Plus uh, Apple CarPlay integration unit. So when the car is in the auxiliary mode, um, we have the ability um, to, uh, to to hold the navigation button for two seconds and then it engages the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto system. Um, this is wired to my iPhone and it's uh, wireless CarPlay. Um, also down here on the right side of the steering column, we also have a Red Arc uh, Top Pro Elite uh, three point um, Top Pro Elite um, trailer brake controller. Um, a little back, that a little bit uh, further down in the in the right side blank, we have um, another uh, uh, auxiliary battery button. It's an OEM style button, um, and that's used for jumping the uh, the crank battery, the main battery, um, with a um, with the auxiliary battery. So just a touch of that button will link the two batteries together using the Red Arc SBI twelve uh, smart battery battery isolator. No need for jumping cables, no need for a jump box. It's all built into the car. Um, uh, they buy it. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have a couple extra buttons here. We have the auxiliary lights, which is the, the um, D-Series uh, reverse lights, the Midnight Edition uh, rigid uh, D-Series Pro reverse lights. We also have the air compressor, which is the ARB twin air compressor underneath the hood. I'll show you that in a moment. And then the proprietary rigid adapt light bar for this flood and spot controls with two memory presets. And then also we have the uh, Blackview uh, front camera uh, located right here. Um, one more thing too, uh, the, this car has um, a 360 degree um, escort um, radar detector jammer. Um, so we, we have this, uh, the controlling mechanism is located right here. Um, almost looks perfectly factory, just offset slightly higher. Um, and then the display is wired um, up top above the rear view mirror. And underneath the hood, we have a couple, again, back to the lights, we have our, uh, our hood lights, um, white or amber, um, controlled with a triple toggle switch right here, located uh, next to the fuse box. Um, we also have um, a, an override pin trigger here, so if, if you accidentally shut the hood and leave the lights on, you're not going to drain the auxiliary battery. Um, we have uh, front and rear diff breathers. Um, uh, the front one is located right here. Um, also, um, we have a couple extra stuff, a couple extra um, uh, fuse, fuses located on top of the auxiliary battery. Um, before I mention it, we do have the um, that big uh, 300 amp winch that I showed you that was located in the back of the of the um, uh, drawer system. Uh, that uh, busman breaker is right here, and then we have um, the inverter, uh, the 1500 or the 1000 watt inverter on 150 amps. We also have the SBI, um, which is the uh, the Red Arc SBI 12, um, uh, 150 amp 
uh, breaker. This is to control the, um, the auxiliary battery so it's able to jump the primary crank battery. We have uh, 240 amps for the um, ARB twin air compressor. And then of course we have uh, the Red Arc uh, BCDC 1240D uh, DC-DC mechanism, which is located right here on a custom, ha um, on a custom uh, bracket that we made. And then we have the rigid um, uh, adapt light bar right here on 30 amps. So as you can see, all the wiring uh, is uh, OEM, uh, OEM looking. And then on the right side, uh, by the primary battery, we also have the um, the BC uh, the D Red Arc BC DC 1240D on 60 amps, and then again the opposite one for the SBI 12. We have the uh, ARB twin air compressor, um, which is married to um, an airlift system. So this car does have uh, airbags in the Icon coils, um, and I'll show you how that works in just a moment. Um, we also have the manifold um, and the uh, and a pump up kit. Um, there is another set of uh, stainless steel uh, lines ran back to the airbags. If you kind of put the camera back in this angle right here, you may be able to see the, um, the airlift uh, system, which is mounted uh, right there underneath of the Slee um, stainless steel uh, air compressor tray. And that's the, and that's the mechanism that's going to let the, uh, the airbags um, inflate with the uh, wireless remote control. That's about it underneath of the hood. We also have the ARB twin air compressor married to um, an airlift system, so you can control it with this wireless remote control. Um, the airbags uh, go from 5 PSI all the way up to 60 PSI, so you can add another uh, inch, inch and a half or so um, on the rear lift. As of right now, this vehicle is for sale. So if it says for sale in, in the title, then the vehicle is for sale. No need to drop that in the comments below. But if you like the video and you like the content that we put out, please feel free to hit thumbs up and subscribe. And please feel free to ask any comments in the section below. Thanks for watching.